I have to, while we're on the subject, because people do like to talk about it, uh, a few days ago we had an incident. I have to say, Secret Service did a hell of a job. They really did. They caught. One of the gentlemen that one of the agents was walking a couple of holes in front, and he saw a rifle, AK-47. That's serious stuff, right? You know more about that. My sons know more about this stuff. But AK-47, that's a, that's a bad one. The other one was an AR-15. This was an AK-47. And he saw the barrel of the gun coming out from a bush. Can you believe it? This guy was all set. He was all set to do his number. And there was no talk. He didn't say, hello, what are you doing here, please? <laughs> and he ends up getting shot himself. He took his gun, started shooting him. And this guy ran. <laughs> no, great job. I don't know if he's, where is he? Not here, right? This guy, these guys do a great job. Now, they do need more people, and they've been complaining about that for a long time, but he did a great job. But you want to know another sort of a miracle? So the guy is now running for his life, and he's got a car a block away or whatever. And a woman, this is a woman, not a man, a woman, see? Women are smarter than men. I hate to say it. How does that sound? Our great first lady is very happy now. Let me just, let me just tell you, think of this. Who would do this? I actually asked, I was with the sheriff this morning, I was with a couple of people from Secret Service, who would do this? So you now have a man running, not with a gun, he dropped the gun, we found the gun, but he was gone. And a woman, driving in a car, saw a man on the street, pretty busy street, running. And she followed him. And he got into the car, and she stopped because she thought he was trouble. He looked different. He like trouble. She followed him, it wasn't very far, and parked the car behind his car and started taking pictures of his license plate. And... <laughs> now think of it. And Sarah, think of it. No, no, seriously, who would do that? It's the women. Not from good or bad, not from, you know, strength or heroism. No, just you see somebody running. I see people running all the time. And you don't follow. She saw something in this guy that was bad. She may have heard maybe gunshots because there were four, I guess, four gunshots. Actually, the, gu the shots, he never got off a shot. The shots were from Secret Service. But think of it. Who would do this? If you took a thousand of these incidents, would even one person have done it? This woman was, I haven't met her, but I'd like to meet her. I'm going to meet her, I hope. But think of this. She goes in, she takes pictures of the plate, and then she sends the pictures into the sheriff's office. And the sheriffs are saying, wow, this is pretty amazing. And they were able to get this guy within 10 minutes at a high-speed chase on the highway. They got him. Otherwise, we'd probably have an AK-47. They had the camera. They had the whole, he had the whole thing. He was a sophisticated guy. He even had the serial number taken off the, the rifle, the gun. But think of this. So we'd have all the stuff. But I'd be walking around saying, I wonder where this guy is. Is he in this audience? We would have a maniac out there. This woman was unbelievable. Because I, I actually asked the sheriff, if it happened a thousand times, would anybody have done that? He said, maybe, but not much, not much. So she did a, a she was really amazing, amazing job. We're glad she did. I think there are a couple takeaways there. One, the women of this country love Donald Trump and are going to make sure we do our part.